One thing I need to do, uh, definitely before we leave on vacation, is to put the tarp on that uh, on that building right there. Technically, I need to do both of them. I'm going to do this one first because it has nothing on it. The other building doesn't have the permanent tarp on it, but it's got two other tarps, and it's been fine so far. So we'll do this one first and see where we sit with materials and time. And uh, if we got enough material, enough time. We'll move on to the other one. But first I need to get a tape measure. I've not put a tarp on one of these buildings, so I'm not sure exactly what size I need. But uh, we're going to measure it and make sure, because this does have eaves that go all the way around. So that will increase the size a bit. Well, this tarp's going to have to be done in a couple of pieces, I'm afraid. Uh, one major piece would be 12 foot 8 by 13 foot 8. Um, the other piece um, will have to be a couple of small pieces that run down each side underneath the dormer. So what I'll have to do is I'm going to lay it out, cut it, roll it up. We'll throw it over and uh, we'll attach the that side over there down and then we'll pull it nice and taut on the dormer and we'll attach the dormer side on the dormer itself and then we're going to have to cut it at the edge of the dormer where the dormer comes out this way and then the rest of the tarp will drop down we'll secure it and then we'll have to put a couple of patch pieces underneath that dormer because the dormer has uh, overhangs about this much on each side so when we cut it to protect the roof, it's going to leave about this much shy of the uh, underneath the dormer. So, not a problem. We've got that. We use that Gorilla Glue, that contact cement they've got. It's worked really good with this tarp material. We've done some patches before, and it's it, they've held forever so far. So, many of you probably wonder why we put these tarps up. Well, it's a temporary solution. To waterproof the sheds or the cottages rather. Um, we're going to leave them on in a permanent mode much like you would put uh, roofing fill because they're they're good and solid they're heavy 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 duty tarp they're PVC they'll last probably longer than roofing fill and then we'll shingle over the top of that when it comes time to put the shingles down. But we didn't want to just buy what five squares of shingles for a building and then shingle it and then go buy five more and shingle it buy more and shingle it. We can probably get a better deal if we buy it all in bulk. So the plan was to use these tarps until we get them all built and they're ready to be roofed then we'll buy all of the roofing material we need. The roofing nails, the drip edge, all of that st stuff, the shingles, all at one time. Maybe we can get a better deal that way plus I get it delivered. Um, I'll get it delivered here on the property They'll unload it with a forklift and set it off, and then we'll just have it all here. And then we'll be roofing for a while. It's, it's pretty straightforward with all of them but these, but the flashing's already in place. And yes, yes, I know the flashing should go down on top of the shingles. Um, we'll probably do that when I put the shingles on. I'll probably lift the flashing up a little bit, slide it under. It's just aluminum flashing. It's not that, uh, not real hard. So if I lift it up and slide the shingles under it, it should be just fine. Anyway, I'm going to go grab some tarps. Uh, we'll lay them out, measure them, see what we got. Uh, don't let me forget though, it's 13 by 8 by 14 by 8. Is that right? 12 by 8 by 13 by 8? Oh, see, I already forgot. Darn it. Okay, none of the tarps are big enough to do the job by themselves. The one I have stretched out behind me now and the one at, at the foot of it are the two closest to the right size. So 
they're going to go over the top and most of the way down the other side, but they're going to leave a little bit shy. So that whole piecing it in on the inside edge, um, I'm going to have to piece the end in as well, add a piece on it. Again, it should be fine. When I put it on, I'll make sure that I put the, put the top layer on top of the bottom layer headed down hill like that. So any moisture will just run right off. Really don't have a choice. I need to get this done before we leave. And it's not like I can just order one and have it here tomorrow. So I'm going to flip it over, roll it up, and then we'll put it up on the roof. Which should be fun. It's a windy day. <laughs> but we'll put it up on the roof and get it as far as we can. And then see what we need to do from there. All right, I've figured out what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to use the two newest pieces of tarp, two unused pieces of tarp. They're both too small. They're wide enough, uh, but they're not long enough. Or they're long enough and not wide enough. However, you, they're good one way but not the other. I'm going to glue them together here on the ground, let them dry good um, for a good part of the day. And then, uh, then I'll roll them up, we'll throw them over trim them as we need. That's the only thing I can think of doing. I think it'd be easier just to glue it here on the ground than it would be up on the roof. Uh, plus the wind's not likely to catch it on the ground like it will on the roof. So I don't have a real flat surface. I don't know. We'll just have to see. Well, it's glued together as best I can. Um, it's a contact cement, so I glued both sides. By the time I was done gluing, they were already tacky and ready to be hooked together. Flopped it over, and it was an instant adhesion, so that's good. Should stick well. But I'm going to let it dry for a couple of hours or so before I start messing with it. While I'm waiting for the glue to dry on the tarp, I'm going to move this log and throw it on the the pile, that way it's uh, out of everybody's way. I probably should have wore gloves. There are spines on, or spikes on that thing, but too late now. Well, I was doing a little work off camera, shame on me, and uh, tore my arm up. So I gotta go clean that up. When I get done, we'll all go out there.
These were just some branches that fell down on the front of the property. I just wanted to get them picked up. Uh, we're trying to get things cleaned up a little bit before we leave for our vacation. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this to uh, the correct length, I guess. I'm going to cut it long so it'll hang over. It's no problem. I can trim it later or fold it under and staple it either way. But uh, for now, I'm going to get it close anyway. I think 12.8 uh, was what we were looking for. I'm going to go 13 feet, cut it straight as I can, and uh, then I'm going to flip it over and roll it up if the glue is dry enough. Okay, next I got to do a little trimming on the uh, sheeting. It's overhanging a couple spots. I don't want that. So I've got my sawzall. I should be able to just walk along and take it off. We'll see. I'm going to do this a different way. That does it for me for today. We'll see you next time on the homestead.